hello friends welcome to sure get success so in this video we are going to learn about the matrices and type of matrices so matrices is what a matrices is a arrangement of an array which consists m of n numbers that means where m represent the number of rows and and represent the number of columns you can see that it is a kind of array a11 a12 a1n up to a m n so these horizontal lines are known as rows and these vertical lines are known as columns so now move on to types of matrices a uh, square matrices a square matrix is what a square matrix means there has to be equal number of rows and equal number of columns for example if we talk about this this one so in this there are two rows and two columns as well so this particular matrix will be of 2 by 2 we represent it in the form of 2 by 2 or you can say m by n where the first one represent number of rows and the second one represent number of columns similarly in this example this is a matrix of 3 by 3 because you can see there are three rows and three columns as well so if the number of columns are equal to the number of rows that means m is equal to n the matrix will be a square matrix next one is diagonal matrix so diagonal matrix is a matrix in which the diagonal elements these elements are called diagonal elements if all other elements except the diagonal elements are zero then this matrix is known as diagonal matrix that means of diagonal elements will be zero it doesn't even mean that the diagonal element can't be zero diagonal elements can be zero or non zero so the restriction is only on the of diagonal elements not on the diagonal elements now third comes is a scalar matrix a scalar matrix is a diagonal matrix a scalar matrix is a diagonal matrix in which each diagonal elements are equal you can see in this example all diagonal elements are what nine so it is a scalar matrix next one is an identity matrix the square matrix or you can say the diagonal matrix with diagonal elements as 1 you can see that the diagonal elements are 1 in this also the diagonal elements are 1 so the unit matrix or identity matrix is also a scalar matrix you can check that the particular properties that it has to be are also in this you can see that except these diagonal elements all are zero that means it is also a scalar matrix the matrix of two rows and two columns that is of 2 by 2 is represented as i2 because identity matrix or unit matrix is represented using i it will be what i3 because the number of rows and the number of columns are 3 so there are few properties of identity matrix what are these properties that the identity matrix is a multiplicative identity what does it mean the multiplicative identity means if we multiply it with a and if we multiply a with it it gives the same output that means it doesn't even matter that on which particular which particular matrix we are keeping first we can either place a first or we can place i first but the output will be what 
A matrix. Similarly, the second property, second property is what? Any power of I, any power of unit matrix is going to give the result as a unit matrix. That means if we are placing I to the power 2 or I to the power 3, the final value will be what? I. That means if we are talking about a matrices that is I2, we can take I to the power. If you are talking about I to the power 4, if you solve it, it will give us what? I. So this is one another property and third property is I to the inverse. If we inverse an identity matrix, if we inverse an identity matrix, what it will give us is it will give us nothing but an identity matrix. And if we find any determinant, this is the sign of determinant. Don't confuse between the sign and representation of determinant and matrix. Matrix are represented using this and the determinants are represented using two lines. So this is determinant. So the determinant of I will be 1. So next we come on to is null matrix. Null matrix is what? If all the elements of a matrix are 0 then it will be known as a null matrix. For example, as we are representing 2 which represents number of rows and the number of columns. Similarly, O2 means the null matrix with 2 rows and 2 columns and 3 means the null matrix with 3 rows and 3 columns. You can see that the all the elements are 0 in these 2 matrices. The properties of null matrices is we can add null matrices with any matrix. It will give us what? Nothing but a matrix. What we are adding into the null matrices. So it is an additive identity. So don't forget there might be a chance that there is a question in gate asking that out of which there is a multiplicative identity or additive identity. So you have to be sure that identity identity matrix is a multiplicative identity and the null matrix is a additive identity if we add two matrices with opposite sign that means if there is a matrix a let the matrix a is 2 2 2 2 and we are adding the same matrix with negative sign that means plus minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 minus 2 and if we add these two matrices what we will get as output is nothing but 0 0 0 0 so it is a null matrix so this is one of the properties of null matrices now let's come on to the next one that is upper triangular matrices upper triangular matrices is what in which the upper triangular matrix these are known as upper triangle in this the upper triangle is non zero if the upper triangle is non zero then it is upper triangular and if the lower triangle is non zero let me write it if the lower triangle is non zero it is known as lower triangular matrix so in upper triangular matrix all the element except the upper triangle would be zero and all the lower and the, all the upper triang upper elements in if the all the upper elements are zero then it will be lower triangular matrix so one of the most easiest way to keep it remember is in an upper triangular matrices if a of i a i j is 0 there has to be what a of i i has to be greater than j that means you can see here a 1 1 a 1 1 is 3 see there has to be a equal sign as well so a 1 1 is 3 but if we talk about a 2 1 
so 2 is what greater than 2 is what i and 1 is what j so 2 is greater than j that means it will be 0 similarly if we talk about this it is a 3 1 so 3 is again 3 is a i and 1 as a j so 3 is again greater than 1 that means it is 0 and a 3 2 3 is again greater than 2 that means this is 0 so the same goes with lower triangular matrix but as we are checking here that i has to be greater but in the lower triangular matrix the j has to be greater if j is greater then it will be a 0 the next matrix is idempotent matrix so in idempotent matrix there is a condition if we square a matrix it will give us the matrix that means a square has to be a if it is following if it is accepting this condition then it is known as what I don't put in matrix so we let us take an example that we have taken first one one zero zero one it is what a if we square it how we can square it we have to add it with the same matrix once again I hope you guys know that how to multiply two matrices first row with the first column what it will give us is 1 into 1 is 1 and 0 into 0 is 0 so you do, don't have to write it and first row into the second column 1 into 0 is 0 0 into 1 is 0 so it will be this 0 into 1 is 0 plus 1 into 0 is 0 it will be 0 and then this into this 0 into 0 will be 0 plus 1 to 1 will be 1 so you can see that I am squaring matrix A but it is giving us what return matrix A so you can also check these two out it will also give you the same result so it is a item potent matrix in involutionary matrix there is a condition if we are squaring it it will give us what an identity matrix it will give us what an identity matrix so see the first example that we have taken earlier also that is 1001 it is nothing but i if we are squaring i it will give us with what i we have we have right now learned about the properties of identity matrix so it is nothing but same similarly if we square this matrix if we square the second matrix it will also give us what identity matrix of three rows and column so it will be what one zero 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 one zero 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 one so there might be a chance that in gate questions they are mentioning that there is a evolutionary matrix they will give you the matrix and ask what will be the output if we square this matrix so you don't have to calculate at that time because they have mentioned the word involutory matrix and if you see an involutory matrix that means on squaring this matrix what you will get is you will get the identity matrix so the tenth one is nil potent matrix so then in nil potent matrix if a to the power x is equal to 0 and a to the power x minus 1 is not is equal to 0 then it is called as what nil potent matrix so there is a matrix a so what it is a nil potent matrix if we square it this matrix we have to do what we have to multiply with the same matrix just like we have done earlier 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 first row first column so 2 into 2 4 first row first column 2 into 2 is 4 plus 2 to the 4 that will be minus 4 then first row second column 2 to the 4 that means it will be a minus 4 plus 2 to the 
4 minus minus plus so it will be plus 4 second row first column for the third element 2 to the 4 plus 2 to the 4 with a negative sign so it will be 4 now 2 cross 2 will be 4 with a negative sign plus 2 cross 2 will be 4 and minus minus will be plus so these trains are really noisy so what we will get as output is nothing but 0 0 0 0 so you can see one thing here a square is giving us what zero but if we talk about a to the power 2 minus 1 that is a to the power x minus 1 it will be what a and a is 2 minus 2 2 minus 2 so this is nil potent matrix so thank you for watching please subscribe us and comment share so that we can be more we will be motivated and we will we will provide you the better solutions and we will come up with the operations on matrix in our next video so keep watching thank you